Cause he stay dropping them bangers Use that polo, don't let nobody see you, man Too much mud, sippin' on drunk, the reaper, man Scroll through pictures of myself, gotta face my demons, man If no one else, come on, do it what is up YouTube, it is Showtime and I am back with yet again another video. Now in today's video, I'm gonna be showing you guys methods that everybody's been using to acquire VC, hundreds of thousands of VC on NBA 2K24. I understand microtransactions are at an all time high, VC is expensive, clothes are expensive, upgrading your builds can be expensive. And I'm gonna show you guys some ways you guys can earn VC for free so you guys can kind of avoid these costs. I'm gonna be putting as much methods that I know that I'm aware of that you guys can be using. I hope you guys do enjoy videos just like this one. If you do, please do leave a like, comment, and subscribe. It'll be greatly appreciated. And nonetheless, we'll get straight to today's video on the best methods that you can be using right now to acquire as much VC as possible. So the very first method I'm gonna show you guys that I'm still not sure everyone's aware of is that all of your season pass um, rewards can duplicate including your vc so if you hit level 40 on current gen you're level 40 on next gen vice versa so if you hit level 40 on one generation of the game all you have to do is log into the other generation of the game and you will be able to duplicate all your vc rewards so i believe in total everything in this battle pass combined if you get it on current and next gen you will have all that vc from both gens and it should come up to around a hundred thousand vc so this is method number one it's completely well, it's not free because you would have to have a certain level of the uh, battle pass, but it still is a method and you guys can get a quick 100,000. Um, pretty simple, pretty basic, and that will lead me into my next method for you guys to be earning VC on this game. So for those of you guys who do not know, 3v3 Prime is a great way to make VC. So the first thing I want to highlight is that if you get player of the game, you get 250. And just for playing a Prime game, I believe it is 800. So you're pretty much getting 1,000 VC every single game. I don't know if people are aware of that, but it's literally like a VC glitch. And it kind of defeats the purpose of playing Park. If you want VC, do not play Park. I advise that you guys are constantly playing 3v3 Prime. Like I said, player of the game um and just for playing is it around a thousand i think it's a thousand one hundred bc every single game so that in itself is quite the method to be using it's legitimate you can't get banned or anything like that and that was a short one and i'll move on to method number three now for the next method i'm about to show you this is the foul out vc method in my career that i've even personally used on this game so the first thing you guys must know is that it doesn't matter you guys can use a brand new build it really does not matter any build will do and the first thing you guys want to make sure you guys do is come to your options and it's are not quit you guys want to go to your options and make sure your game difficulty is on rookie you can leave the quarter length on five um, once you've done that uh, make sure that you guys sim to the game sim to a key game as you guys will see the key game bonus is 150 vc so you guys will be getting that bonus that's what we're aiming for so sim to your key game by just pressing the options button uh, or the play button as you guys can see it will sim you to the game and then once you guys can do that uh, before you guys go and actually play the game what you guys want to do is come to the my career um, section and then go to career tracker and make sure to put your minutes all the way down as little as you can until you get this notification switch yourself out with like someone else like i usually do like the ninth or tenth man so i'll switch them out or oh, sorry let me find someone that can actually play in my position wait there we go so i'll give yourself the least amount of minutes and give all your minutes to the person that you put in for you to play your position once you guys have done that it's gonna be pretty simple pretty fast pretty easy you guys just start the game and once you guys get in the game i will show you guys what to do so as you guys can see i've subbed into the game remember that i've given myself the least amount of minutes so that this game can be pretty fast uh your goal is once you guys get in the game is to literally just foul you guys want to get five fouls as fast as you can so i just hold down the d-pad on my controller and i'm just going to be purposely committing these personal uh, fouls like i said you want five of them be sure to be paying attention do not go over five if you foul out this will not work for you and you will not end up getting the vc remember remember five fouls what i'm going to quickly do is get myself five fouls and i will come back to the video and come back to the commentary once that is completed 
So as you guys can see, I'm at my fourth foul. I'm about to commit my fifth and we're all the way in the fourth quarter. Once I commit my fifth foul, you guys will see they will put me on the bench and then the game should end. Sometimes it will leave you in for a certain amount of time. Just play it out. Make sure not to foul. Let it play out. If you did not just get the same kind of thing I did right here where it took me out right away, just play it through. They will take you off the court or they may, might make you play like under a minute or something. And as you guys will see here at the end of the game, they will give me a set amount of VC. You guys will see in a second, I got a thousand VC. So you literally can do this method as much times as you want. It's pretty much a thousand VC every single game. Um, simple, it's straight straight to the point. Um, used, I've used this method quite a few times. And with that being said, we'll move into another method that you guys can be using to get VC. So for the next method I'm going to show you guys, this is going to be a black top method that you guys can use for quick, fast and easy VC. So come to the black top. Once you guys do that, make sure you guys go to 1v1, come to the ringers side, which and make sure you guys load roster with L3, go to the user created roster and then go ahead and use either this 99 Curry one or the 99 Victor one. There's probably a bunch just more like that, just like that one. I'm going to use the curry one because that one's just the easiest one. That's just the one I've been using. So use the 99 curry roster, choose a side, advance, let the game go to 21. Once you guys do that, you guys can go ahead and choose curry as mentioned, and then go to the very bottom of that same roster. And you'll see like a 40 overall random player, Trace Jackson Davis. Go ahead and do that. You guys want to advance. And from here, you guys basically just want to win the game. So just win the game. On offense, I just shoot, and then on defense, you can just let the AI score because he's not going to beat you. That's the way it was designed. I'm not gonna have, I'm not gonna sit here and let you guys watch me do this. When this is finished, I will tell you guys what to do next. So as you guys can see, I'm on my final point, and I scored just for playing that game. That's an easy 500 VC. Now, what you guys can do is rematch and do the same thing over. But one thing you guys must know is that after every two games that you do this. After you play the next one, don't click rematch again. If you rematch back to back to back three times in a row, you will not get the VC. After your second time, after your second game, which would be a rematch after this, you wanna close app, come back to the blacktop and do it for another two times. And then you guys will get 500 per game. Remember that you guys can't go past two times. So after every two games, which means after every thousand VC, cause it's 500 a game, close app and you do the same thing again so it's two games at a time i think this this method is much faster than a lot of the other ones that i mentioned in the video and with that being said i'll show you guys another method you guys can use to make a lot of vc on this game now another completely free method that all of you guys should be using is your daily splins please do not forget to use these i've already done mine i've seen people win up to a free 5,000, sometimes 15,000 vc just by spinning this for free so be sure to use all your daily spins and you're keeping up with that to ensure that you guys could possibly get some free vc and that will lead me into my next method now last but not least this one's for all of you guys who enjoy doing quests and especially have the patience you guys can go ahead and do your weekly challenges there's a lot of vc to be made in these weekly challenges i know there's not available now because the season is closing and the week is ending uh when I, at the time of this recording of this video but you can make like up to legitimately 10,000 vc a week so be sure to keep up with these and you guys can make a lot of vc and I also don't want to forget, ensure you guys are participating in all the events that 2K has. Like Strikeout was a good one. It was pretty easy. If you get on a streak of four, you get up to 10,000 VC. So these come out weekly. It's important that you guys are keeping up to date with these. You have the same thing with the cages, 5,000 free VC here. And then you also have 10,000 for scoring 65,000 plus points in top five, which is pretty easy. Also for events like strikeout where there's multiple a day, you can continue to win the same prizes multiple times. So it's not 10,000 and it's 10,000 every few hours that the event comes on. So the event will come on between like one to 3 p.m. That's 10,000 if you go on a streak of four, it'll come back at six to eight, that's another 10,000. And you can just repetitively play these events. If you can somehow manage to get on different time zones, I believe you guys can play it even more. So events are a great way to earn VC. And that is all for today's video, guys. I hope you guys did enjoy it. I hope you guys enjoyed all the methods. Let me know how they work down in the comment section below. Let me know how they work for you. Um, be sure to share this video, like, comment, and subscribe, and all the good stuff. And I'll see you guys in the next one.